Hello, this is Jody from Jody's Gems Quilting. Today I'm going to share how to make a draft stopper, which they're not that expensive to buy in the store, but I have a lot of fabric and they're so easy to make. Uh, I just wanted to share it in case anyone else has the same problem we do. We are now using only part of our home since our kids are all gone. And you can see by our doors, this is interior doors, these are all bedroom doors, uh, and what we're finding is that there's, I noticed last year after the kids moved out the year before, that a lot of heat comes under the door because we don't air condition these rooms. And so it, this hallway was always hot. So I decided to figure out how to make draft stoppers to go underneath the doors. And just wanted to share that with you, how easy it is. The, they use pool noodles and some fabric. And there's some YouTube videos on how to do it with pillowcases and safety pins and noodles. But I have plenty of fabric and sewing machines, so it's easy for me to do. One of the things that you're going to want to do is measure your doors. And each door will measure differently. So measure the door itself. In this case, they come in at about 30 inches. And each door is different. I'll have like three or four this size and a couple others different sizes. So you're going to cut your two, you need two pool noodles. And I just go to Dollar General and get them for like a dollar each. They're the inexpensive ones. And by doing that, you're going to cut one noodle the length that you need for this size. And then the other one will be from the inside of the casing. From there over to here. Does that make sense? So it's like 29 and a quarter and 30 inches. And so what you're going to do, my guest room, and since we don't have company, it makes sense to uh, shut. So what I suggest doing is measuring all your doors and writing them down. And you measure the width of the door too. I forgot to mention that. So you take your door and you measure the width. And this is actually a different door. Most of them upstairs are like an inch and three eighths. So you measure the door width also. And I calculated, I did a lot of trial and error as I made a ton of these. But it'll come in between 17 and a half, 18 inches is what you're gonna need. So you're gonna cut by width of fabric, 17 to 18 inches. I did these 17 and a half. I did one of them 18 inches, so roughly in there. Then you're going to um, cut them the length that you need, and cut the 40 inches down to like, these are 36, so I cut everything 36, because my doors are roughly 30 inches, and then I have room to tuck them in. After you get that done, you will use the selvage edge, if it's a, a clean edge, and there's no white on it, and cut from that end so that you cut off the white if there's a white selvage on it. If there's not, then it doesn't matter. These are actually surged, so I use the surged edge on this end. Um, I did that ahead of time for another project, I think. So this is all leftover fabric just that I don't need. Then you take it and you stitch the whole length right sides together. So you'll stitch down the whole thing Go back and zigzag it all the way down on your sewing machine. And I used a quarter inch seam. Doesn't It'll be close to that that you're going to want to use. Then this time, to make it easier, I just pressed this little bit right here. And I opened it up, made sure it was open, and pressed this to one side. Then I can go back and put it in the middle, so I center it. And then I can stitch the end, so I stitch across the end and zigzag that also. Once you're done with that, then you're ready to turn and press. And I'm sorry, I apologize if this wiggles, but you just take it, oops, I'll just pretend it's a sleeve, and I need a professional photographer. Apologies. So you're going to turn it, take the points out, okay, pull it out and then press it. So you're going to press the whole length and you'll press that seam to one direction. I don't have my points out, but you're just going to take it, run it down, take that seam to one side. Okay. OK, 
Okay, once you get that done, I also go back. I don't want to do this yet because I don't. I think that's good. Then I press each of the sides so I have a fairly, not a super crisp, but a fairly crisp edge working it so that that seam is in the middle. Okay. It'll be easier to do the, the stitching to keep the two noodles in, the pool noodles. So once you get that done, I'm going to bring you over here to my machine. And what I did was I stitched it in a thread that matches it. So when you set up on your sewing machine, and I use a Dr. Scholl's mole foam pad. If you watch my other videos for quilting, you'll see I use this all the time as an edge. And I measured it for four inches. So roughly three and three quarters to four inches. I found it really depends on the size of your noodle. Um, I'm going to take you to the noodles in a minute. But just to be safe, I would do approximately four like four inches three and seven eighths to four inches and so what you're going to do is you're going to take your piece that you have pressed and you're going to line it up and you're going to sew it all the way through you can tell i did this one at four this one was probably stitched at three and seven eighths three and three quarters so you stitch all the way down one side and actually it was easier for me to start at this end and I do leave this open like oh, four or five inches because it's 36 inches long and the noodles are roughly 30. This allows me to take this and tuck it into the ends of the noodles and I don't stitch it or anything. Um, just in case I, they get dirty I can wash them and so I start down a little bit. Okay, Stitch it completely down. When I get down to the end I turn it around and go back the other direction again just lining it up along that pad once you get that done you are finished and you're ready to do your noodles now what you can do with your noodles is I just went to Dollar General and I got inexpensive noodles the dollar noodles nothing fancy right there they do have bigger ones, I see, that are $3 a piece, but I'd rather just get the smaller ones. They work just fine. Then I measure the inside and the outside. Oh, my tape measure's over there. So I just measure the length that I need, put a mark, and then I go back with a big scissors, and I just cut them. Okay. Now for me... I went back and I wrote on here what room it was and if it's the outside or inside of the door just because I'm a little anal and I don't want to have to work that hard next time when I take them out um, to wash the covers. So these, as you can see, will be just a little bit different size. That's because this will nest inside of the frame and this will be on the outside. So you tuck them into the two ends. Um, let me see if I can do that and show you. And just to give you a heads up, I had this all figured out and had some noodles in one and it didn't fit on these others. So three and three quarters was not enough. But you just pretend it's a pillow and you're going to shimmy it down in there just like that and take it all the way to the end and you're going to do the same on the other side. And we have an attic door, too, that has quite a gap underneath it. I figured out it's because this car house was carpeted when it was built 60 years ago, and we removed the carpet. So that's why I think there's such a big gap under the doors. And so I'm not replacing doors. We just, who cares? We don't care. Once you get it in, then I just take it and tuck it down into the holes. And then I use this end closest to the door jamb. So... I just tuck it in and then you just slide it right underneath the door. Anyway, I hope this helps you. Sorry, it's uh, very amateurish today. I did one video, but I didn't talk, didn't test it enough. Um, I'm Jody from Jody's Gems Quilting. I've got over 34 different quilt patterns. So check it out when you have time at Jody's Gems Quilting. Have a great day, and I hope this helps you save on your energy bills. These are my bigger ones. They were bigger around. <laughs> Getting my tape measures over there. But these measured 8 inches, and even this one was 7.5. So make sure you measure your noodles and accommodate for that. Have a great day. Bye.